These are trying times. These are testing times. Not just for individual people, but for society and the core unit of society, which is family. Because the families have been broken up They've been attacked for over a century with a fake kind of promise that individualism is gonna give you everything, that you can have everything. But you can't because it doesn't work like that. Time is short. No. Now that families have been broken up, now that you don't see your kids because you're working all the time and you've given them away to carers that you don't even really know you know once upon a time in history people knew not to place the care of their children in the hands of the government do you even know where school started do you even know about Prussia do you even know how they sent the armies to houses to take the children and how over a generation it became normalized that we just wake our kids up, feed them, clothe them and send them away now not everybody is doing a bad job but everybody still needs to step up. Good is not good enough right now. I'm sorry, it's not. We're in survival mode. Because we've just let things be. We've thought it was somebody else's job to take care of everything. It's somebody else's job to take care of the community. Somebody else's job to look after the government. Somebody else's job, it's not. It's our job. We the people of every nation. It's our job. Where's your pride in your history, huh? Where's that all gone? <laughs> yep. It's been it's been removed ever so slowly. You've been silent step by step. You've been tricked into thinking you don't need to care. That you don't need to care even for yourself. You've been tricked. You've been tricked into thinking that you don't need to care for your parents and the elderly and the old just because they're old. You know, one thing I learned when I moved out of this country, which I did for a long period of time, and I got to see other facets of the world. One thing I learned is that the communities need to stick together. You need to keep the old close to the young for the majority of time. 
Check this out. <laughs> Just found a golf ball on the beach. <laughs> Must be a golf course around here. Well, it is Scotland after all. <laughs> How bizarre. Don't know what to do with the golf ball. I guess I'll just leave it here. Be good for somebody. So, so, what's the message that I want to impart to you? The message I want to impart to you is that the governments of this country and so many other countries sent the sick people into the old people's homes. I mean the level of it, the level of the insanity of doing that, the level of insanity of locking up healthy people in quarantine. Quarantine is for sick people so that they don't get more sick. The healthy people need to be out and about. That's how the immunity builds up. The healthy people get the virus and that protects the sick people. That's how it works. That's how it's always worked. My God. What happened? What happened to the schools? What happened to the education? Why, why, don't, we, why don't we know any of this stuff anymore? But it's not difficult. You've got the internet and a billion different search engines and great people writing great articles. But no, you live in fantasy land of pop culture insanity. <laughs> They've got it all planned out. They've got your life all planned out for you if you don't take some control. So they sent the sick people to the old people's homes and when the government was asked about it, they said, oh, we don't know. We don't have the statistics. We don't have the numbers. All they have is the numbers. That's what they <laughs> spend all their time doing. Collecting data and figure, figures and numbers. And but we don't have the data. And then when the data does come out, it's like, oh, well, yes, it 20,000 extra deaths unaccounted for, on top of the accounted for, on top of the normal deaths of the old people. What have we done? When you stop caring for your own future, my God. What have we become? Soft, malleable, putty in the hands of the authority. Right? That's what we've become. We're broken, we're broken diets. Guzzling poison, injecting poison, breathing poison. Right? My God, sugar's more addictive than cocaine. I'm not saying we shouldn't have nice things. I'm not saying we shouldn't enjoy life. I'm not saying we shouldn't have luxuries. I'm not saying we shouldn't be happy. We shouldn't be grateful. We should be grateful, but we've become complacent. We've let the system get away with it for too long. Why don't you do something? Why don't you go and check the British Medical Journal reports about the 20,000 unaccounted for extra deaths. How the hell did they die? Do you even care? Or do you think you're gonna live forever with your silicon implants and your microchips and your toxic vaccinations?
I know that there's some clean ones out there. But the hell! What the hell? The, the doctors don't even know what's in the pills and where the pills come from. They're just punching the information into their computers. They're overrun as well. The nurses are scared they're going to lose their jobs. But that's okay. Stay at home while the economy tanks. That's a grand idea, isn't it? Let's just pump out fear porn consistently through government fake news channels. And let's subject the children to it, right? What about the kids? What are they thinking? Can only go out certain periods of time, stand in queues to go into shops, can't meet your friends. It's some kind of deep, deep, deep psychological abuse that's going on. The kids are not going to recover from this, a lot of them. They're going to think it's normal. And if it happens again and again, it will. It'll be normal. And insanity will be our grand new reality. Where's your courage, people? Where's your conviction? Where's your golf balls, though? Huh? I can't wait to get on the golf course and spend three hours walking in a circle. Just once a week, take the time to do a bit of research. Take the time to learn something new. Take the time to visit someone who needs that attention, who needs that love, who needs that care. And don't let the authorities get away with it. Right? Don't let the authorities author your life. It's your life. You're in charge. One life. One world. One chance. To get it right. So. Find out what happened to those people. You owe it to them. We all owe it to the people who came before. We stand on the shoulders of giants. Let's not let their memories fade. And if you need to go out, get yourself some fresh air. Breathe. Breathe life. My challenge to you is to make a difference. Peace out.